Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Deck Deck, and today we're playing some more Planet Zoo Let's Franchise series, whatever I've called it. I keep forgetting the name. I know it's Planet Zoo Let's Franchise, but it's a bit weird to reel that off at the start. Anyway, last episode, what we did, we went and fancified. Yeah, I know, that's not a word. We went and fancified the uh, shopping areas that we've got. They're all nice and lit up. They've all got their own um, signposts on the top. Oh, I liked that uh, lens flare that we got there from one of the lights. We also decked this area out a little bit. We couldn't get a shop there, but I'm going to put something like a fant in there once we've got some themes researched. But what we want to do today is we're going to branch off. We're going to start getting some nice big circle enclosures. So we're going to unpause the game and let it run very slowly. Because then I've got no reason to keep pausing it. Um, but yeah, let's start by designing, uh, deciding where we want our path to come. I think a nice diagonal. Let's get it a little bit longer. I do kind of still want angle snapping. Maybe not that long then. Or do we... Where does power come out to? We've got a huge power radius. But we need them lights to be caught into this loop. Maybe then. I'll leave that there. Maybe we come off this way. How far does these solar panels reach? Tiny. Wind turbines aren't that large, actually. So what my thinking is... We'll put a staff path coming off this way. Them lights aren't going to get lit, unfortunately. Or are they? I could go somewhere. I'd have to go somewhere around there. To make sure they all got hit. It's not really what I had in mind for it. Can I move that generator slightly? The generator's already on that side. You know what I could do? I could move that staffing zone to over here because we're probably not going to build anything in here now that I've got the RAM things going on. Let's just very quickly move these. You know what? I'm not that bothered. Leave the lighting as it is. We're going to go over here like I originally wanted to. Um, let's get a circle in. No, we can't do it yet. I want one straight to come off that way. And one straight to come off that way. Just get me... One high... And come up. And come up. And then straighten out a bit. Hmm. How are we going to do this in a way that makes it... A night... Well, it's not got to be a circle. But I didn't want to go square again. I've wanted that square because that's where the staff path's going to come off. In fact, let's get the staff path in now that I've done that. Uh, no, not the queue. Staff path, and we only want it to be small. Did not want that to do that. And if I... Facilities... Wind turbine. That's actually... A fairly nice coverage. We could actually come out a little bit further. Let's go to about there. So that seems like it's still in a straight line. I've got an idea for what I want to do. And we're going to need this on still. So now we can try and follow this. Is that one per thing? So one, two, three, four more. 
uh, customer and 10, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you're just on the edge. Let's get rid of angle snapping. I want to try and keep the path in the middle of the power. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Just bring that back one. Bring that back two. I want it to come from this side, please. That didn't quite go where I wanted it. I'm aware of the faces I'm pulling, by the way. Get rid of that. It doesn't quite make the shape I want. Maybe I didn't quite place that one right. There? And there. It's a weird shape, but I do like... It's like a teardrop. <coughs> I already paused the game, didn't I? No, they're just very slow. And for some reason, they're all moonwalking. Uh, it's the peafowls again, isn't it? God damn you, peafowls. So yeah, that's the habitat. We now need to get the barriers to match this. That's going to be fun. So we'll do this section of it first. And we can have this straight along the path. I think that's fairly straight. Then we'll start from this side. In fact, no, we won't. Let's keep it nice and straight. Just go like that. Actually, no. Let's go one more meter. Let's go five. I know it leaves a bit of overhang, but then it comes back in like that, and it squares it off nicely. And then we can go back up to ten meters. I didn't do that as ten meters, did I? God damn it. It's got to be at 10 meters. The intervals, they have to be 10 meters. We can even get the uh, path up this way. Anyway, let's try that one again. That doesn't look straight. Come on. Can you not have it snap to paths? Curve okay, barrier top, habitat perimeter. Hmm. Snap to adjacent height. No, I've just got to wing it. It's so close. Sorry, the perfectionism's coming out of me. Go away, go away. If I go to that... If I go to 11 with that... This should just clear the end. Ah, oh, it's not in a straight line. What is going on? Get closer. Right in the corner. Looks about straight. It goes way past. You know what? I'm not that fussed. We'll just bring it back like so, and we'll go straight across, and we'll bring it back like so. And then we can just come straight down here. That's slightly closer than the other one. Just slightly. What did I even do there? Diseased animal discovered. It'll be the pea fowls. The vet's already sorting them. They don't actually line up. It's because I went from the other end. Mm. 
There's no reason for these to need to line up this precisely, by the way. I just want it to. All the concentration faces. I can only imagine what you're having to look at. You know what? That's as near as damn it. And I'm going to cheat and just pull this one a little bit further forward. There we go. <clears throat> then if we can get like a two meter straight bit off the edge there. And a two meter straight bit off the edge there. Then we can go into... I think let's just get the length all the way up. No angle snapping. Well, we'll actually see what the angle snapping looks like to start with, and curves. No. Wait, I... Do I want it to go straight underneath? Don't think I do. How about 10 metres? We'll probably spend most of this episode on this one today. Then we can go back to straight lines and angle snapping. Because I do kind of want this to come under the path as squarely as possible, but the camera's being a bit of a pig. Really? You're going to keep doing that, aren't you? Fine, give me no angle snapping. I'll do it by eye, which is probably going to work out worse. Then we can come into some curves. I think it's going to need to be longer, and I have literally just realised it's on 11 length. I'm not that bothered anymore. Just curve. See... Actually, I can just do that. Hmm. I don't think I like how that's looking at the minute. No, no I don't. It's alright, this is already starting to strain my hand. Because I'm trying to be too finicky with it. He should have just gone for the mute button there, genius. Anyway, we're at 10 metres. I want you to come straight this way. Straight this way. Why does it keep curving off of that? I have no idea. I think we're just going to make a straight line. Well, a curve with a straight line. Oh, it'll be fine. If I just go straight from above, we can get it as close to the edge as possible. This is going to be a huge enclosure. I might even split it into two, thinking about it. So it's going to be absolutely monstrously big. We might even need our own shopping district up here. That tree needs to go as well. Yep, tilting my head. That helps me get straight angles. Straight angles. Hmm. Surely if it's straight, it's not an Well, it is an angle. It's 180 degree angle. By rights. How does this look? Yeah, that doesn't look bad, actually. Doesn't look bad. And from straight above, it looks... Pretty good, I think. I guess that's for you guys to decide. Let me know what you think of the outcome by the end of it. When we finally get there. I mean, I've already taken 15 minutes and I've not even really done anything yet. But I guess the main part of it is going to be... Oh, we can go angle snapping now, can we not? And then we have got the one curve coming back in. It looks evenly proportioned, does it not? Right, this will be the fun bit. 
will it let me do this dead center? Well, that's as dead center as it's going to get. And... Can I then get this to go actually straight? You know what? Yeah. Delete that bit of wall. Delete that bit of wall. This can be 20 meters. I wouldn't say that's in a straight line. I would say that's in a straight line. And you can go straight into there. I know it makes that bit of wall weird, but it'll be fine. And oh, I need it to come from there into there. It works, and it's all in power range, so I can get the monitors around it. It's different. We're breaking away. We're going to have to design some differently shaped ones. Maybe we can go for a more simplistic shape, you know, like a hexagon. What's going across over here? You died of old age. Our wild dog population's proper disappearing now. Get the keeper into the peafowl thing. We've got some research, but we shouldn't have too much. Elephants have got a little bit more. Wild dogs, how are you doing for population? Got one. How are you doing in there, dude? Stud book, you are about to turn elderly. Um, let's have a quick look for a wild dog while I've got a second. Uh, what were you, by the way? You were male. Turn off that. Turn off that. We want African wild dog, so it's right near the top. Filter. We've got a decently... Uh, we want females. Filter. We've got a gold one there for 800. You know what? If it's still available. And you can move into there. Happy days. You're hungry. Call a keeper. We shouldn't have to be doing this. More vet research is completed. That'll be on the grizzly bears. No, it's on the Indian elephant again. Well, what do I know? So we've got two huge enclosures in here. Um, we want to get two different gates in as well. So we'll throw them right near the front. Oh, can they not go straight facing each other? Why is that obstructed? Oh. Uh, apparently it's not anymore. Maybe it thought I was on the same side. Who knows? Who knows? Right, so we've got these huge enclosures. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but these peafowls are going to get neutered very soon. They are starting to drive me insane. Select all. We're going to save you. Have we got any albino females? Just save the albinos. Um, uh, you're albino, and, wow, they're all females. Yeah, another albino male. We're just going to have all albino peafowls, because why not, right? Although selling some of these off will help out as well at a later... We've got so many albinos. Um, release animals to the wild. Still says I've got 57 in there. St 
still says we've got 57 in there. Well, it should calm it down a little bit. I don't know if they've actually sold anything there. It's selling them all now. Um, so what do we want to get in these? I'd like something fairly nice. If at all possible. Mm, we're not going to be able to afford anything that's ridiculous. Let's have a look at cheetahs. I need to turn African wild dogs off. Genius. <clears throat> Oh, these are going to be poor. Your fertility is zero. Oh, you're not bad. Can I just turn these filters off? I want to see males and females that are cheap. You're not terrible. Is that an albino cheater? You know what? You're actually decent. And you're decent. Let's have these in this one. So we've got the female in. And we've got the male in. So them cheetahs can both move in there. That is a lot of our points spent already. Let's have a look what other animals we might be able to afford. Uh, we don't want any more elephants at the minute. Doll, sheep. I'd like something else that's this sort of uh, biome. Hit pop. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Let's have a quick look. Ooh. I'll take you. So that's a female. I need to remember to keep turning off the one we've pre previously looked for. Now I need a decent-ish male. I mean, for 400, you're cracking. So that's the male moved into that side. And we'll get the female moved into that side as well. And then we can set both of these up. What problems we got left? None. So it seems like the P-Fail... Oh, transport rides. We might do that next episode, actually. We'll see. Um, I'm going to need another keeper for these specifically. That and we can have another round of training for everybody. Train you up, train you up. Arctic wolf died of old age. How many years? Have we, 23 years we've been here. Animals seem to be dying rather quickly. I know you can actually turn down how quickly people age. Uh, that's it, just flick through all of them. Kylie Anthony was the last one we did. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Stop saying that. It actually reminds me of the episode of Doctor Who with Donna Doctor. Doctor Donna, even. Ooh, that can get a final upgrade there. Um, yeah, we're going to need another keeper. And I do actually want to speed the game up. Helps if you unpause it to do that. Unfortunate. How many Arctic Wolves have I got? Five. And we've got a bit of a mixture going on. That's good. They're about to keep their own population going. Right, let's name these. I mean, what would... That didn't actually take me too long. Cheetah. And I definitely need this one up to better spell it. Hip, po, pot, ah, mus. Seems right. Yeah, that'll be fine. I could have actually incorporated a keeper's hut into here and a staff room. You know what? I'm gonna. Just take this wall and this wall out. Um, staff facilities. We only need a small keeper's hut. Ooh. Do I want to start giving them different ones? No. So that we can pack in as tight as possible there. 
And we wanted a little staff room for you all. We'll try and get them to be square across from each other. Because there's going to be more than enough room in here for the hippos. Um, these barriers will just pull to the ends. And this definitely needs to be shortened down. We'll just go to there because I'm going to be sorting it out myself manually anyway. And then we've got our own little staffing area that nobody's ever going to complain about. Well, actually, yeah, just join it up. And then I can move both of these individually anyway. Does that seem about straight on both fronts? Nearly. That'll do. And we don't need to wall them in this time. They can literally just stay where they are. Well, the walls can. No, nope, it's not what I want. And there we go. Oh, so close. Stretch that out a little bit. And stretch that out a little bit. And then we go. It might not be dead straight, but that will do. Where is our new keeper then? We should be able to tell because it's the one that's got no training whatsoever. What are you doing over there? No, sir. You are over this way. That's yours. That's yours. That's yours and that's yours. Cheetah slash hippopotamus every time. Excuse me. So, they're in. We don't need to be running this quick anymore. And they're going to be able to see from everywhere. Although, maybe it's going to be a bit far into the middle. I'm not building a path straight across. They'll be fine. I'll try and keep the trees in the middle and stuff. So let's get the terrains all sorted out. How big is this area? Just out of curiosity. 3,000 meters. Oh my god. Anyway. Nope. We can sort this out. They need more short grass. It really does take a lot of grass to uh, alter this. You need more long grass. And a touch less sand. We can dot you a bit more soil about. There's some light soil. There's some heavy soil. And you need more short grass. Go team. There we go. You love that. You do need a hard shelter. So let's get you a shelter that you like. Species cheetah. And yeah, I'm keeping the game paused until we've sorted this bit. Ew, you can't get very nice ones. That's unfortunate. Well, I guess I can just give you one of these. And I am going to keep this away from the public's eye as much as possible. Hard shelter that you enjoy. We're going to give you a little bit Africa and grassland. Continent Africa biome grassland. Go away. Maybe. No, I like these sort of things for in here. Just dot them a little bit around. Rotate some of them. We don't want them all to look the same. That'll do. Do the hippopotamuses like the same plants? They also like aquatic, because we have got to get them some watering. I'm hoping to build them a nice little pool around the outside. So, yeah, we can leave that on them settings. What else do the cheetahs need? Terrain's good. Environment's good. You need enrichment, obviously. Uh, you also need food and water, obviously. Because you're cheetahs. In fact, you know what? I want this to just slump down into the floor a little bit. Because it shouldn't be stuck all the way up in there. It 
just keep it poking out a tiny bit. There we go. That looks better. Flatter, at least. Um, anyway, let's get you a large food tray in here. I'm actually just going to throw it in front of your house. Nope, don't kiss it. Select it. And you can have one of them there. Will you need water treatment? Is another question. If so, I'm gonna, just going to join it onto one of these edges. In fact, I'd rather be safe than sorry. We've got the power. I don't know if you can, there's only a limited amount of water treatment centres that you can have, but we'll be fine. We'll just throw that in there. No, can't unpause the game. And I'm not going to mess around trying to get it all lined up straight and whatever there. We're just going to give it the entire area. And then we'll straighten that up like that. So the hippos have probably lost a little bit more. Yeah, the hippos have definitely lost a bit more. But I don't think they're going to cry too much about it. Let's give you a couple of um, water feeding things. Just to make sure. And then some enrichment. Two, three. And we'll get one of them in the middle because it's rather big. What toys have you got? I'm hoping we can get a nice um, collection of cheetahs built up. Any of the food ones I'm going to put closer to the door. And they're not going to have loads of them. Like scratch posts. You can have a few of them. And sprinklers. I don't think I'm going to try to do the heating in here because that's probably going to be a, a giant um, pain in the backside, to be honest with you. Other than nutrition, which you will get sorted eventually, you are completely good. Right, let's get the hippos sorted and probably a little bit quickly. Half of this needs to be water. Wow. About half of this anyway. Will that let me put water in already? Actually, they've not got to have just one lake, have they? We can give them several little lakes. How's that grab you? 500. So we need to go a bit further. Although. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, that's getting a little bit deep over there now. I'd rather it be one big water area. Let's keep it a little bit more flat. Down this end. Just so I've got somewhere to give you a decent habitat. Oh. That's a nice little lake. It's still not enough. Other than that, I don't like that bit. Can I just smooth that bit out and then I'll make it a little bit bigger? I don't want the bumpy ridges that we've got in there. There we go, that's a little bit bigger. Um... We'll drop this down a bit more over here. Is that all about the same depth? It looks fairly... See, that's less than it had before, isn't it? 1,008. No, it's 1,200. Right, let's remove this and we can bring it around this way a little bit more. I wonder, can I not just make it loads deeper? I would design one that's huge. Well, actually, I did say it looked like a, a tear shape. So it might as well be filled with water. 
Oh my god, there you go. That's got to be right. I think you're not going to have enough land now. It's green and green. I'm going to go with it. Right, let's sort your trains out then. Um, we want slightly more soil and slightly more rock. Just dot that round there a little bit. Let's go with a bit of rough rock. And then a little bit of smooth rock. Prefer, pre I personally prefer a little bit of heavy rock, but it's not my uh, habitat. You do need a hard shelter as well. It's alright. I was about to cough there. That's why I got all enthusiastic about it. Not that I'm like th enthusiastic about it already, I guess. Um, Hippopotamus. You get the nice ones, and I've got no bloody way to put it. No. I actually think I'm going to put it I need to be able to see it from this side right up against this wall well that is right up against it it is only marginally levitating if I do the advanced move I can literally just drop it into the ground a touch Hmm. You know what, surprisingly? I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Are you guys okay with that? Yeah, they like it. Uh, environment, let's get you... Probably not as many trees. We're going to get you more reeds, I guess, and stuff like that. But we are going to have some trees in still. Uh, it was these ones, wasn't it? Let's throw them just this side so they're not blocking people's view because they don't like much so yeah oh I like them yeah they look cool uh, nettles medium no thank you they're slightly different uh, what else have we got? You know what? I want one of them. I know it's going onto the path a little bit. But it's not actually touching it, so that's not really a problem. You guys like that. You're going to need enrichment, and you're also going to need food and stuffs. Um, so I think, again, I'm going to give you guys a large trough. This is actually going to go inside your house. But you're only going to get the one water. Sorry, but you've got a lake that is being specifically treated. So you can enjoy that. And what enrichment have we got? This is the only problem. I've got very little room to work with now. Just turn angle snapping off for this. I do hope the keeper can get to it. It's only light water you've got to walk through to get to it. That one can go there. I'll give you a barrel feeder over there. And then you've got some toys. You know what? Gyro's going in there. I don't think the keeper needs to get to them so they can go wherever. Mud bath can come right at the front. Hopefully it'll fit. Can I put it inside your enclosure? No, I can't. Actually. No, it looks a bit silly there just have it there. I want it to flatten terrain, please. That did not seem to flatten terrain, game. Uh, we can get a plant screen across this way. You know what? I wanted it to line up with the wall a little bit. There we go. You can have a couple of these. And... Rubbing pillar. I'm assuming they're going to be able to play with it in the water still. I hope they are. Really? They like sprinklers. Just dot a few around the edge and apparently in the water. And that should, once you're all unboxed, be you guys dead happy. 
Yes, it is. We've got one final thing to do. We've got to get in some screens, and we've got to get in some donation bins. We'd really have to. We're not having any glass in here. They'll be fine. Uh, so, we can go in here. Donation bins. How often are we going to want these? There's no light like, set guideline. Every so often. I'm just going to try and spread them out as evenly as guesswork looks. That might be a bit far. And then one there. And then we'll start back round from this side. So you get one square at the top. And you get one about there. There. I am trying to go off the fence posting as well. And one there. That should be enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm a genius. <laughs> oh dear. And you know what? Before you get in. ATM. ATM. Hint, hint. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. ATM. ATM. <laughs> Give me your monies. I think I'm going to put bins about as often as the um, other bins. I'm not going for recycling bins up here. We'll just have the normal bins. I should actually be putting them against the um, pillars in the fence if I want to try and keep it symmetrical or even or whatever it would even be at this point. I have just seen Reese log on to Rust. This episode has gone on for a while, so I'm going to have to finish very soon. So we can go and sort our base out that got raided yesterday after we just started. Um, nah. I'm going to have to bring every one of these up. Because we are going to need lamps everywhere. Although if I control D, that are oh, beautiful. Maybe. Oh, no. That's what we're after. It's I. Just remember that for a second. Why? Why would that one be in the floor when the other one wasn't? Wasn't? Wasn't. Hmm. And that first one's not quite in the middle. Oh, this is the tedious work. I think I'll do this bit off camera, actually. Yeah, I'll get lampposts in off camera. Um, We can do the screens now quickly. Because I'm going to be using these ones anyway. Can we not just have... I know it's flattened to terrain. Really, I'd like it to snap to the thing. Yes, the thing. To the road. It's not going to do that though, is it? Tell you what. I'll come back off camera. I'll get all the screens in. I'll get all the speakers in and everything else. But basically... You've seen me build it. The animals are happy, apart from these ones. Ooh, too many guests think tickets are underpriced. Cool. Without a vendor for a long time. Why is there no vendor there? There's more than enough of you. Where is your vendor? It's like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shops down there. Uh, I think I'm about to see where the problem is. No, it's this.
<laughs> uh, my bad. Let's see if I messed the other one up as well. No, other one's fine. Yeah, other one's absolutely fine. So that is my own bad. Fighting. Oh, we've got more grizzly bears. You guys are just being idiots. Go away. I'll sort the grizzly bears out next episode. I'll do all this bit off camera, by the way. Indian elephants are very nearly there. I've got nothing to collect. It's a disease risk. Call the keeper. These peafowls, they're being an absolute pain. In fact, I am trying to kill a little bit of time so I can get it around to daytime so I can take a photo of this or a screenshot. It would probably have been better if I'd have dipped it down in the middle. Ooh. 2,900. We're at 3,000 guests. There you go, team. Have I got any new guests in? I waved at these two before the episode started. So, yeah. We're getting away from it a little bit. I think this path over this way is going to have to be deleted back a bit. And we're going to have to go at more of an angle. But that's what we're going for. We want to get away from this straight square bit that we've got. This is the money generation. What we've got here. Look at all the people. What do people think? I need to know. Maintenance. How do you see it again? Uh, seeing a cheater. I suppose the view from a cheater here is fine. Yeah, shut up. The hippopotamus looks so lonely. There are two of them. Um, dudes. Why are they lonely? It's not lonely. You shut your faces. Well, anyway, it's daytime. We're pulling... That happened quickly. Um, it's daytime. We've got loads of people swarming down this way. Um, like I say, off camera, I'm going to go and get all the lights in. I'm going to go and get all the screens in. I'm going to get all the um, speakers in because you've seen that bit a million times already. I can do that bit off camera. So yeah, that is going to be it for today's episode, so thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more, all comments and feedback greatly appreciated as always, and other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!